Greetings, my brothers and sisters. We welcome you back to God's Classroom of How You Learn, where we come together each and every day to study, to teach, to learn, and to gain more knowledge from the wisdom of God's teaching that it will empower us to grow in His grace. And today we just invite each one of you, wherever you may be, to just come on in, pause your thoughts and all of the other things that you are doing. Take a seat at God's table of blessings. Where you are sitting right now, God says where there are two or more gathered together in his name, that he will be in the mix. So my brothers and sisters, wherever you sit at this table, this day, know that God is sitting here with us. So today's lesson, we want to begin by studying from the book of Philippians. So just take out your pen and your pad and open your Bibles to Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. And the King James Bible, this passage of scripture reads, I can do all things through God who strengthens me. And in the Amplified Version, the Bible reads as following. I have strength for all things in Christ who empowers me. I am ready for anything and equal to anything through him who infuses into strength into me. I am self-sufficient into me. I am self-sufficient in Christ's suffering. My brothers and sisters, for a subject of this lesson today is titled, Handle the Problem. We know that many of us facing very difficult times. Many of us are faced with problems of all sort each and every day that we awaken. Many of us take our problems to heart and attempt to deal with them in our own way. On the other hand, many of us that truly know Christ understand how he works in our lives, through our lives and through all other lives. We take our problems to him because he says that he would never put on us more than we can bear. There is no problem that is too big or too small for Jesus Christ. We must stop thinking about how big our problem really is and start thinking about how big a God that we serve. There is no problem too big or too small for God. There is no valley too low or a mountain that is too high that God cannot see us climb over or walk through. God is the maker and the creator of all things in this universe. He is Jehovah Jireh, the all-time provider. And he knows the troubles that we're facing each and every day. He knows the troubles that we are going to face even before 
we are facing them. And God wants to help us overcome the problems. He wants to see us live in victory. He wants us to learn to stand on our faith and have hope that he will carry us to where he has promised that he will do. My brothers and sisters, you have to learn to lean and depend on the Lord. And when you do, you can find yourself living in joy, peace, and happiness. You see, the problems that we face each and every day could be lack of <clears throat> our finances, a lack uh, of, of a basic substance of not enough food to eat, not enough fresh, clean water to drink. We could be suffering in ill health. We could be facing a job layoff, a business shutdown. We could be facing a boss that is giving us all sorts of problems each and every day. And as we get into our automobiles and drive down the highway towards our jobs, we can be facing traffic congestion. The many problems that we face is unlimited. But I'm here today to tell you, my brothers and sisters, you can handle the problem. You must change your thinking, change your ways of, of doing things. In the Bible in Romans, the Bible says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. You see, the problems that we face, they come through our thought process. We become aware of them because of the thoughts that we have in our minds. And when we allow these negative thoughts to linger, they manifest themselves into our negative thinking. So therefore, when we see ourselves faced with a problem in our marriages that seems to overwhelm us. We face a problem with our children seeming to have many difficulties in school and on the playground and other places. They overwhelm us. We face the problems with our stock poke portfolios and the market going up and down and it doesn't seem that it is fitting into where we want it to be. Then we have the problem of many people facing these difficult problems, taking the easy way out and committing suicide. But my brothers and sisters, know that when a problem enters into your mind, enters into your space and your time, it comes there not to stay, but it is just passing through. It's like a, a river stream that is constantly flowing. And the river is going to continue to flow as long as you don't attempt to dam it up. 
But the very moment that you began damming up a river stream, the water stops flowing temporarily until it finds another outlet. Well, my brothers and sisters, problems come into our lives in the same manner. They flow through, not to stay, but to pass on. But when we grab a hold of these problems and begin to complain about them, say what we can't do about the problem, then the problem begins to aggravate us. We find ourselves becoming ill. Sickness encroaches upon us. All because of our way of thinking, our way of attempting to deal with the problems, trying to do it all on our own rather than releasing the problem to God who can do all things but fail. God tells us to learn to lean and depend upon him. Learn to trust him. Put our faith in God. And when we can stay in faith, God will show us the awesome powers that he has already provided to us. He says over there in Jeremiah 33, 3, he says, call me. When you are facing problems of any sort, no matter how big or how small they may be, all you have to do is call on me. Why? Because I am your God. I am Jehovah Jireh, the all-time provider. I will never leave you nor forsake you. He says, call me and I will show you great powers that you never imagined in your entire life that you already had inside of you. The problem is that you have not learned how to use these powers. You have not activated the powers that I gave to you from the very beginning of time. And because you have not learned how to use the powers that you have to solve the problems that enter into your life, you need to call on me. Don't call your brother, your sister, not even your mother or your father, especially your doctor or your lawyer or your CPA. Call me. And I will work with you. I will help you. I will strengthen you. When you look over there in the book of Isaiah 41, uh, uh, verse 10, Jesus says, fear not. No matter how difficult the problem may be, have no fear. Do not become overwhelmed by the problem. Why? He says, I am your God. And if you believe that he is who he says he is, more than 2,000 years later, you hear the voice of God speaking to you, telling you that he is your God. And if you can believe that, conceiving into your mind, and then learn to stand on his word. Because he further says in his Bible, in his scripture, he says, know the truth and the truth will set you free. You will become free of the problems that you are facing. 
He further says there in uh, in Isaiah 41 10, he says, he says, I will strengthen you, my brothers and sisters, when you face these problems of all kind, no matter what they are. He says, I will strengthen you to help you get through the problem. He says, don't become worried, agitated and upset and start doing dumb and stupid things. But learn to lean and depend upon me. Because I am who I says that I am. Learn to live with the I am that lives within you, my brothers and sisters. Trust God. Be obedient to God. And handle the problem. He says, I will help you. I will help you get through it. No matter how difficult it may seem in your mind at this very moment in time, I will help you. Why? Because I am your God. My brothers and sisters, learn to trust God. Be obedient to his word. I'm reminded by a story that I that I read about this young man who worked at a home improvement company. And he had been with this company for many years. And this was a very large home improvement company. One day he was called into his boss's office. And his boss told him that he was going to lay him off. Now, this young man walked out of the boss's office, went home to his wife and his kids and told them that he had been laid off. The first thing his wife asked him is, honey, what are we going to do? So he said to his wife, don't worry. Don't worry. His wife says, I'm with you, honey. Whatever you say, I am with you. Now, this young man could have got upset and start cursing God and start complaining and worrying and about how was he going to pay his mortgage, his car note, and put his kids to school after all of these many years of working on, on this job and saving up uh, on his 401k and, and now he has no job to go to. But instead of worrying, instead of becoming a negative, like a lot of us do, this is what God is telling us to do. Do not get upset. Do not worry, but learn to lean and depend upon me. So what did this young man do? This young man went out to talked to several of his friends and gathered them together. And then he decided to start his home, own business, his own home improvement company. And today that company is named Home Depot. One of the largest home improvement companies in the world. Started by a young man being fired from his job. So I'm telling you, my brothers and sisters, it does not matter what problem may come into your life. Handle the problem. A problem is there looking for a solution. That is what a problem is for. You become a problem solver. And if you learn to solve the problems you will always have a job. You will always have income rolling in to your bank account. Why? Because now you are becoming a problem solver. You have can-do power that is living in you. I can do all things through God who strengthens me. 
learning to lean and depend upon God, learning to trust God and to be obedient to his word, believing in the truth of the word of God, learning to stand on truth. I can do all things through God who strengthens me. Now, when God looked down and he saw all the problems of the world that could be in the world, he decided that he, I am going to make me a world. God made that decision and he saw all the problems that he was going to face in making him a world. He decided to create man. And now look at us in terms of the problems that we face. But God did not let that stop him. And man began to complain about he was hungry. God took two fish and five loaves of bread and he fed 5,000. You see, my brothers and sisters, we serve a big God. We serve a God that can solve all problems. And he created in us greatness that we too can solve the problems because we are created in the image and the likeness of God himself. So therefore we can solve problems. We learn to lean and depend on the I am that lives in us and that I am will guide us through any and all situations that we may face. Because God is who he says he is. And he is God all by himself. My brothers and sisters have the right mental attitude. Change your ways. Change your thinking from a I can't do this or I can't do that. Stop having pity pat parties when a problem come about. But instead, do like you do in your automobile when it's ready to pass another automobile. It shift gears, gives it give it more power. Or you're going up a hill and, and, and you need to accelerate. You hit the accelerator and it shift to another gear and it gives you more power. This is what you have to do with your mind. Shift your thinking. When Jesus says, be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Change your thinking, my brothers and sisters, in your mind. Stop allowing the devil to come in and tell you what you can't do but be transformed by the renewing of your thoughts each and every day. When you awaken each and every moment, thank God for allowing you the opportunity to open your eyes and see the light of a brand new day. Thank God for strengthening you from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet. Thank God for allowing that problem to come into your life because today, you are going to become a problem solver. There is no problem that is too big that you cannot handle because you have decided to solve the problem, to handle the problem, to make the problem go away because you're now leaning and depending upon God who can do all things but fail. Say to yourself, I am ready for anything. I am equal to anything through him who infuses into strength into me. I am self-sufficient 
in Christ and his suffering. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. I am a self-sufficient individual because God is strengthening me from the top of my head to the bottom of my feet. My brothers and sisters, that is our lesson for this day. Be strong, my brothers and sisters. Be courageous in your doing. Know that you can do all things through God who strengthens you. Never give up. Never give in. Handle the problems. Winners never quit. And quitters never win. Handle the problem. There is no problem that is too big or too small for God. Think on the goodness of God, on how big our God is, and stop thinking about how big the problem is, because there is no problem too big for Him. And lean on Him, and continue to say to yourself, day in and day out, I am ready for anything and equal to everything. I am ready for anything and equal to everything. I can handle the problem. I am a can-do person. And this is where and how I am going to live my life from this day forward. Why? Because today is the very first day of the rest of my life and I am going to live my life in accordance to that because God says that I can do it. And I am going to believe what God says and not what man says. I am going to trust God and I am going to live in His will this day. My brothers and sisters, we thank you for allowing us to come into your hearts and into your homes and teach another Bible study lessons in God's classroom of higher learning while you sit at the table of his blessings knowing that God has a blessing with your name on it and all you have to do is believe it. Believe in your mind my brothers and sisters that your blessing is waiting on you. Now solve the problem. Why? Because you can handle the problem. Because God is with you. He says, I will never leave you or forsake you. May he bless you abundantly as you walk into your divine destiny, leaning and depending upon him. I'm Pastor Davis, Master Teacher of the Vine and Branch World Ministries, teaching another Bible study session. Amen. Be blessed, my brothers and sisters, for this is your day of blessing. Go out and bless someone else.